Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Facebook has just dropped a mobile LLM. We all know that there is a growing need for efficient LLMs on mobile devices, whether it is mobile phone or tablets, driven by increasing costs of GPU both in cloud, on-prem or wherever they are being used. In this model family, Facebook has focused on designing top quality LLMs with fewer than a billion parameters as you can see on your screen where they have released all of these models which start from 125 million parameter all the way up to 1 billion parameter and we are going to install one of them locally and we will play around with it. Facebook has addressed a very very niche field in the industry at the moment which is still growing quite i would say at a tepid pace but i believe that that will be the next frontier in addition to text to video models in the coming months for when it comes to ai for example if you look at this model which is mobile llm 125 million from this family this gives you a fair idea how good this field would be in the coming months this mobile LLM is an auto-regressive language model, which means that it predicts the next word on the basis of the previous one in the sequence, and it leverages an optimized transformer architecture, which has been specifically engineered for on-device applications that will really, really make it easier to run models on your mobile devices on constrained resources. Mobile LLM integrated several key techniques including Swiglu activation function, deep and thin architectures, embedding sharing, grouped query attention and few others and I will explain it in very simple words shortly. For example, this mobile LLM 125 million and up to 350 million has achieved a remarkable 2.7% 4.3% accuracy boost over other state-of-the-art models as you can see which include GPT New, Bloom, Rockov, Pythia, and we all we have covered all of them on the channel in the previous months. In this version, they have further demonstrated that their design philosophy scales effectively to larger models with state-of-the-art result for mobile LLM 1 billion to 1.5 billion. So let's try to get this installed and we will see how it works. Also, I don't think so. It's an instruction tuned one, so don't expect you know you can generate stories and start chatting with it but i believe the real use case for this model is to get it trained on your own data for your private use in a smaller sphere and use it on your mobile phone okay so let's try to get it installed and before that let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content. Agent QL works on any page. It is resilient, reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so that said and done. Let me take you to my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM, but you don't need GPU for this 125 and even all of these sub billion parameter models. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a virtual environment with Conda. Let's wait for it. And now let's install all of our prerequisites, which include torch and transformers. That's all you need. All the prerequisites are done. Let me launch my Jupyter notebook. And we will download and play with this model in the browser environment. Okay, so now let's try to download the model after importing the libraries which we have installed. And we have to add these uh, special tokens to the tokenizer because they are not present in the default tokenizer. And the model is being downloaded. While that happens, let me explain to you the terms which I mentioned earlier around its architecture because they are important to understand so the first one was swiglu activation function swiglu 
stands for shifted weighted GLU. It is a type of activation function that helps these models process information more efficiently. What it does is it selectively allows or blocks information flow through neural network layer, improving performance. That's all it does. Second thing which it improves is deep and thin architectures. These architectures refer to model design with many layers, which is mean deep, but fewer neurons in each layer. That means thin. This setup allows for complex processing without requiring excessive computational resources. And that is how we are, enable, we are able to run these models on our mobile devices. Then comes embedding sharing. Embedding sharing is a technique where multiple components of the model use the same set of pre-trained word or token embeddings. This reduces memory usage and promotes more consistent representation across the model. Third and final, group query attention. It is a mechanism that improves efficiency in processing multiple queries at the same time. It groups related queries together, allowing the model to focus attention on relevant information for each group. That is all there is to it. Before we move forward, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Okay, so model is loaded onto our GPU. Let's try to run the inference. And of course, you can run it on CPU. So does it matter if you use GPU or not? So in the first inference, I'm just asking it what is the capital of Fiji? And I'm giving it some of the parameters and then um, tokenizer is converting this text into tokens model is generating the output on the basis of those tokens and these hyperparameters that control output and then we are decoding the output back and displaying it so let me run it and it has returned the correct response which is the capital of fiji is sua okay let's try out another one it's a small model so i'm not going to put too much load on it but let's try this one out where i'm asking how many r's are there in the word strawberry Okay, so as is the case with even larger model, this also has failed royally. So it has it says that there are seven R's in the strawberry. That is fine. Let's try out a math question. For the math one, I'm just giving it a very simple equation to solve. And there you go. The math looks really good. The answer is spot on, and it has solved it in a proper PEMDAS way, which is really cool. Let's try out one coding question. I'm just asking you to write a very simple JavaScript function to check if a number is even or odd. And there you go. You can see that just 125 million parameter model has written you this code, which is quite good quality. So the model is very impressive as you can see. And I believe the other models in this family, like sub billion, one, one billion and closer to it, they also will be of the same quality. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think about it. Also, I'm planning to do another video in this series to actually fine tune them or train them. The problem with that is that it takes around three days to train this model on two uh, 80 GB A100 GPU cards. So that is the only bottlenecks where I mean it's a bit harder to wait for two days, but I'll try to see what I can, I can do there. But anyway, it looks really good. I will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching